this equation. x minus 7 over x minus 1 equals x minus 2 over x plus 1 minus 1. First step to doing this rational equation, I guess it doesn't have to be, but I prefer doing this. I'm going to multiply both sides by x minus 1 times x plus 1. This will allow me to clear the denominators and make it into one line so it might be easier to work with. So over here on the left, the x minus 1's will cancel and you'll be left with x minus 7 multiplied by x plus 1 equals. Here, the x plus 1's cancel, so you'd be left with the x minus 2 that was already there and the x minus 1 that I was bringing in. Minus, over here, nothing cancels out, but it is just a 1, so I guess I don't really need to write it in. And we'll just have x minus 1 times x plus 1. Okay, I don't know if it looks much easier right now, but it certainly doesn't have any denominators, which might make our job a little bit easier. Let's see what we end up getting. So, distributing, here we have x squared minus 7x plus 1x, so that'd be minus 6x, and then minus 7 plus 1 is minus 7, equals x times x, x squared, minus 2 minus 1 would be minus 3x and then plus a 2 and then here be careful it's minus so I'm going to put some extra parentheses around this so I don't forget to distribute later this one conveniently is a difference of squares uh, form so I can just go x squared minus 1 okay let's uh, let's distribute one more time over here so that way everything's nice and simple we don't make any mistakes with negative signs x squared minus 6x minus 7 equals x squared minus 3x plus 2 minus x squared plus 1. Okay, now I do see some convenient cancellation there. Um, I'm going to move all of my information over to the left hand side for factoring. So I'm going to plus 3x plus 3x. I'm also going to subtract 2 and I'm also going to subtract 1. So overall, it looks like we have x squared minus 6 plus 3 would be minus 3x and then minus 7 minus 2 minus 1 is a total of minus 10 equals to 0. Okay, now it's quadratic so we can use some of our factoring techniques and that would mean that we have x minus 5, x plus 2 is equal to 0 and then the zero product property is going to say that x equals 5 or negative 2. Now unfortunately with rational, I don't know if it's unfortunate, but with rational equations you do need to check to make sure that you're in your valid domain. Valid domain, domain there are certain numbers you're not allowed to divide by, namely 0. So in this particular equation because of the x minus 1 we cannot have x equals to 1 and because of the x plus 1, we cannot have x equals to negative 1. But neither of our numbers are 1 or negative 1, so they're both valid solutions, and this is the answer to the problem. So, pause the video, try this one on your own. Assuming you paused it, tried it on your own, let's see if you got the same answer I'm getting here. I'm going to multiply both sides by y minus 1, multiplied by y minus 7. So over here, y minus 1's cancel, and we'd have y minus 3 times y minus 7, because the y minus 1's canceled. In the next position, minus 1 times nothing cancels, so we have a y minus 1 and a y minus 7. And in the last position, on the right of the equation, on the right of the equality, the y minus 7's cancel, so we'd have a y minus 4 and a y minus 1. Okay, now distributive properties would yield y squared minus 10y plus 21 minus y squared minus 8y plus 7 equals y squared minus 5y plus 4. Okay, now this time let's collect like terms, y squared minus y squared, negative 10 
minus negative 8 would be minus 2y. 21 minus 7 would be 14 equals y squared minus 5y plus 4. And so now we'll move everything over to the same side. In this case, I'll move it over to the left to make it easier. Oh my goodness. Am I getting the same? I'm almost getting the same numbers, I think. 0 equals y squared minus 3y minus 10. I think those are exactly the same numbers. I just looked back in my slides. OK, um, lucky me. <laughs> so I guess you get y minus 5 y plus 2, and that means that by the zero product property our solutions are either 5 or negative 2, as long as we're valid in our domain. And what are the two numbers that are not included in this domain? Well, that one says y better not be 1, and this one would say y better not be 7, but neither 5 nor negative 2 is 1 or 7. So we do have the final answer is y equals 5 or negative 2.